Well, good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, uh, it's Easter. Happy Easter to those of you who are celebrating Easter and uh, happy Passover. We have uh, a very, very special show today, um, and we are very excited to share uh, this amazing, amazing uh, person that we've known for quite a while. Uh, we have followed uh, the, her career for uh, since the beginning, and uh, we're very excited to introduce everyone to the one and only Adriana Collins Gonzalez. There she well, is. Well, hello. Hi, honey. Hello. Hello. How How are you? Is My name is Adriana Gonzalez Collins. Collins. Excuse me. Uh, you know, I don't know you that well. <laughs> we, so. we, well, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's, it's been a minute since I last saw you, so I can't, uh, it has been a while, dear. How are you? Good, hanging in there, um, surviving the quarantine with a six-month-old baby, so that's always exciting. Oh my gosh, where is he now? <laughs> he is currently napping in the room right next to me, so I'm sure we'll be waking him up with our little song later, but um, <laughs> daddy is standing and by. That's great. That's wonderful. Well, um, thank you so much for um, being part of this little show. And uh, we are thrilled to pieces to be with you uh, because um, truly, I mean, we have not only fallen in, in love with you as a person. We're groupies. But also um, we love your singing and and everything that you bring about. And today we, we shared a little moment uh, of your past. Uh, we heard this interview on the radio with, um, I'm going to mess up his name, Craig. Craig Hella. Craig Hella Johnson. That's right. And um, he was your instructor in college, right? Tell us a little bit about Craig. He was well, awesome. We he heard his, his cast, his podcast. It was amazing. I know. He's uh, one of my early influencers. Uh, he was my choir, choir director at the University of Texas at Austin um, in my undergrad. Uh, and through high school, I did a couple of his camps. So that's how I first met him uh, through the university. And then he, I continued to sing with him until I moved to DC. Uh, but he's just, wow. If you guys don't know Conspirare, that is just an ensemble to hear and make part of your life. And I think he's doing a solo concert next Sunday, which we're all very excited for. That's right. Yeah. We're going to have to make it a watch party. Um, yeah. So. So you got them. You got to meet him when you were in high school. But what is your earliest memory um, when you realized that you had to be a musician? That there was nothing else in life that could make you happier. I think it was in fourth grade when I first. Well, that's not true. It probably started earlier than that with my dad, because he was kind of a, a jack of all trades. He he played a little piano. He played a little drums. He played a little trumpet. A little guitar. He was horrible at all of them, but he had a really great, really great musical ear. Um, so and a I lot of enthusiasm. Up, yeah, and passion for music. Um, so we grew up listening to him playing his little organ, you know. So then I would play by ear. He would teach me how to play little songs by ear. So those are my earliest memories. But then when I in fourth grade, they had a choir for a volunteer choir because we were all in like music class, and uh, I volunteered, of course. And it was my first, I guess, performance experience. And I got probably got to do some stupid little solo or something. Um, and that was the moment that I just knew that music was going to be in my life forever, I think. Oh, my gosh. Can I, I can I tell a story that is forever in my heart about you? Was sure. when you did the Amalfi Music Festival. What was the, it was the mm -hmm. festival. And mm -hmm. and Jose and I and a whole and, and a bunch of your groupies, including your brother, we went uh, over to uh, Amalfi, went to Vietu Sulmar and stayed there. And, and uh, the night of your performance, you were doing your debut, doing Suar Angelica, on this castle way up above the Mediterranean. And we took this bus up this windy road, and we had to, the the bus couldn't make the turn, so we had to get out and walk the rest of the way. And when we got up to the top of this mountain, and you came out and you sang that song, which by the way I noticed on YouTube has like a thousand and hits. I mean, oh, a lot of people wow. have seen it. And you sang Sensa Mama from, <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you sang that above the Mediterranean and I cried so hard. 
and then afterwards I saw you and you were like, let's go get a beer or some wine, some pizza. <laughs> it was but, great. But it was beautiful, beautiful. And it's forever here. Uh, it's forever here too. That's one of my most amazing musical experiences ever. And so, and so you, you recognize that this was something that was going to be part of you. You have the fortune to do choir camp with Craig, and then you go to uh, the University of Texas to pursue okay. music, hundred uh, percent. Mm -hmm. And I, I got in as a vocal performance major, um, and that was kind of just. It was the only thing I could probably have gotten into the university for, so it was obviously meant to be. <laughs> Hook 'em horns. You and I have that yeah. in common. That's yep, awesome. Austin. That's nice. Yep. Go off. Um, and then I guess it, and in college is where I learned how to sing opera because I didn't know, have any knowledge of opera prior to college. So that's where I really started those studies. And then uh, to tell folks about where where you went to grad school. Uh, I moved up here uh, in 2000 something, and then I did a break, and then I went to Peabody, the, which is part of the Johns Hopkins University, uh, Peabody Conservatory, and uh, I met you guys when I was auditioning to go into Peabody. I was doing a zarzuela, and Jose was working on set as an assistant director, and we hit it up right away. Well, I don't, I wouldn't put it that way, but ah, um, okay, <laughs> uh, I'll tell the story. Um, I was translating and, and the, one of the directors went on a little too long in, in the stage directions. And I basically said, just move left or something like that. And someone in the background said, uh, that is not what he said. <laughs> and I thought, oh my God, who is that person who is calling me out like that? And we've been friends ever since. Yeah. And um, I continue and to call you out. That's right. <laughs> and I am so thankful that you do that. I am too. <laughs> um, and, and so here we are um, separated by this, this situation, but connected nonetheless um, through the, the people that we love and the and music. How has music helped you? Uh, not only deal with this, but also raise a child. Oh, well, in, deal, in dealing with it, I'm listening to music every all day at some point. Um, I, um, and I'm constantly, actually, I'm doing very little singing of my own. In fact, I had to do quite a bit of warming up today to attempt to sing today. But I do sing to the baby all the time. Um, and And I put him... I have a playlist that I that I've created for him, and he loves Mozart piano concertos. I've been playing him Mozart piano concertos since he was in the womb, um, and it's actually his soothing music, which is really cool that it worked. Um, so he goes down pretty quickly if you just put on the Mozart, uh, and uh, that gets us through for sure. It, is there a plan for for Alejandro? Well, he's going to play the piano. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and he's not going to quit. He's going to play the piano. I, and if he hates it, he can drop it later. But he's going to have the fundamentals. But I have a feeling he's going to like it. And I think he's going to like all music because he's already really into like little drum toys that we give him and everything that plays music he loves. And not just classical music. Classical music just makes him fall asleep. He actually prefers dad's hip hop and R&B. Um, he's a well-rounded kid. He's a very well-rounded kid. And then he'll be perfect for Hamilton. Awesome. That's, right, that's right. That's right. Um, we're hoping he's a baritone, but you know, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Well, you know, there are some good tenors out there too, so you never There's know. There's a few. There's he a might. Few. He might be the one who changes your mind on that. There you go. There you go. That's right. Uh, but um, I want to share this little message um, for you. Oh, <laughs> hi, Elana, Manu, and Manu. All the way from uh, Madrid. They're in Madrid. All the way from Madrid. Yeah. Oh. So, um, so late for us. Love that's you right. You are Thank next, you. by the way. Yeah, you get ready. Oh, yeah. I have a, I, are you taking nominations for this? Of course. Yes. Okay, um, I would like to nominate my brother Oscar and his girlfriend Annie Kaufman. <laughs> Hello, Annie, all right. Tell me. 
They're getting um, called out right now. I know you're totally calling you out live on YouTube um, <laughs> because I hear that they are a mean ukulele and soprano duo, and I have yet to hear this. So I think it would be absolutely wonderful if they did it. But I know that Amy's going to kill me. But anyway. the, gu um, the gunlet has been thrown, people. So I'm just heard putting it here. out there. <laughs> they are your friends and they are musicians, so they should. That's be right. Here. Well, I, 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 I hear you and I second it. Um, so speaking of hearing, I think we are ready to hear ready? Okay. something from you. All right. Um, let me drink some water. Hold on. <laughs> Adriana Gonzalez Collins, ladies Thank and gentlemen. Thank you, dear. Okay, let me get my technology settled. I had to, eh, I will tell you later. Okay. <laughs> I had a minor crisis. Over, dr over drinks. Like yes, yes, yes. I just got to make sure I have a, there's a little some song lyrics here on the side, just in case. Okay. Here goes nothing, guys. Don't judge. When you walk through a storm, hold your head up high, and don't be afraid of the dark. At the end of a storm, there's a golden sky and the sweet silver song of a
Oh my! <laughs> oh man! <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna pull them. Oh! Oh my God! I love you guys. That was such a surprise. <laughs> you were so, so mean. I had, to, I had to pick something musical theater, but I also had to cheat. So you know. <laughs> oh well, that was beautiful, honey. That was oh, amazing. That was, was really. Wonderful. And, and it's a perfect song for these, these days, isn't it? Because we all have to hang in there yeah. and get through it all. That's right. Yeah, we we're do. Together. Yep. yep. We are all in this together. And it's only by sharing um, these kind of feelings that we're going to get through it and by supporting each other and by loving each other the way we do. And let me tell you, I cannot wait to give you a hug. I know. Uh -huh. And... <laughs> We missed our a we miss our Adri hugs and our Alejandra hugs and our Michael hugs. So, mm -hmm. but uh, hopefully we'll be we'll be we'll be together again soon. Yeah, we will. We will. Yeah, and you're a joy. And thanks so much for being here with us tonight, oh, you guys. I'm so glad you guys are doing this. Keep doing it. We need it. Okay. All right, honey. We love you so love much. You. Love you. And uh, did the baby wake up? I hear some cooing back there, so if you have to But at least we didn't interrupt oh that. <laughs> that's right. Oh, right. well, that's wonderful. Love you so much. Love and you. take care. Stay well. Bye. Take care. Yeah. Love you. Bye. Bye. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for all of your messages. Um, and uh, we cannot wait to share the people that we have lined up uh, in the next several days. Um, and, uh, we love everyone and, uh, stay well and we'll see you soon. Bye everyone.